Hello, Answerly viewers. Now, I can't for the life of me remember which one of you guys asked this, but one of you out there wanted to know how to throw a nerd party. I've never met a nerd who doesn't like to party, at least in some form of the word, so I think this is a pretty good topic to cover. Let me start by clarifying one thing first. Nerd parties and regular parties really aren't that different. More often than not, the only difference between nerd parties and non-nerd parties is that nerd parties are much more likely to have a theme. In my personal opinion, that only makes the parties more fun. Whereas non-nerd parties might just arbitrarily happen on a Thursday because people are bored and happen to have a couple of extra fifths of vodka, nerd parties are usually thrown to sort of celebrate an occasion. And since nerds tend to be more secure in professing their love for a whole plethora of things, these occasions happen pretty frequently. For instance, is your favorite movie coming out in theaters soon? You can throw a party to pass the time as you wait for midnight to arrive for the midnight showing. When that movie comes out on DVD a few months later, throw a viewing party. Is your favorite video game coming out with a new expansion? Throw a LAN party. Is your favorite book about to come out with a sequel? Throw a party. Is NASA trying to land a rover on Mars? Throw a party! Are you just feeling particularly nostalgic about something from your past and want to celebrate it with your friends? I don't know many people who'd turn down a Legends of the Hidden Temple party, or a Pokemon party, or a Goosebumps party. And don't think that just because we're nerds doesn't mean we can't get a little sloppy. If you're over 21, feel free to serve drinks at your party, just make sure they fit the theme. Create a drink menu. If you're throwing a Harry Potter party, call your drinks Butterbeer, or Felix Felicis, or Polyjuice Potion. If you're having a World of Warcraft theme party, you can serve the same drinks, but just call them Mana Potion, or Goblin Rocket Fuel, or Booty Bay. If your party is Mario themed, you can call your drinks The One Up, or The Princess Peach, or Bowser's Castle. Not to mention, parties are that much cooler if you go in costume. And not just for Halloween either. Gather all your craftiest friends and throw a TV marathon night, but everyone has to come dressed as their favorite characters from the show. This works really well with shows that have a large cast of characters, so make sure you're picking a show like Buffy or Adventure Time or Lost or anything you can think of. Throwing a nerd party is a lot of fun and you can be as creative as you want. It can be as complicated as having scavenger hunts and prizes for the best costumes and games, or it could be as simple as watching the Goonies with eye patches on. It's up to you. The most important thing to remember is that nerd parties are not lame. They're actually way better than non-nerd parties, but that's our little secret. Until next time, it's game over.